Travis, the offense was um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a great accomplishment. Uh, really great for this program. Um, could be happy, happier for this team. And um, but we know on offense we got to play better, so um, we, uh, we'll do that next game. Travis, you had 24 points at halftime. What was the difference in the second half? Um, I mean, we just, we knew we had to leave, but we knew we had to uh, keep on going. I mean, Cal's a great; they have a great offense, and. Um, and they have capabilities of, of putting up points. So um, we have to just make sure we are uh, just keep on getting more points on the board and um, just making sure we kept keeping the defense off, off the field. Yeah, it seemed like there were some downs where you, didn't, you had some time and you had a pocket but, but couldn't find anything. Was Cal's coverage kind of making it hard to find receivers? Um, I mean, they, they definitely did a good job. Um, but... Um, I mean, it's on me. I, I um, should have made some better throws and um, should have made some more accurate passes. So uh, that's something I uh, got to correct and uh, get better. Is there anything that particularly happened on either of those interceptions that caused the turnover? No, nah, I mean, it was just um, it was bad throw. Um, on the first one, definitely, it was bad throw. So um, I see the more accurate with the football and um, on the second one I just got a um, maybe smart decision about that one. Okay, Marcus Williams and Booby Habs just came in as well. Anything else for Travis? Travis, did you expect this to be a slug fest like this and come down and look at the deal? Um yeah, I mean we we uh, we pictured it to be to be a battle and um, I mean, Cal did a great job of that but um, all credit goes to our defense our defense played lights out and um, helped get turn turnovers for us and um, help uh, get us in a uh, good field position. Did you expect it to come down to the last play, Yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're a great team. They're 5 0, so you already know that it's going to be a slugfest from the beginning. So, I mean, you just prepare as much as you can prepare and then come out and execute as, as well as you can. Talk about the takeaways tonight. There's a lot of them. This is a fact. We just do it in practice, we do it in the game. Yeah, you have my name. You know, we prepare, we prepare to uh, come up with the game. Uh, Ruby, can you talk about that last play? Fourth down, you know you had to make a play. What was going through? Yeah. Ruby, that's a call there. You know, prior to the play, I just was on the sideline trying to get my team riled up. I told them, you know, no matter what, you know, we, we're a team. You know, I, no, there's no individuals on this team. No matter how, how many guys catch such and such picks, we're a team. And I told everybody, I said, the last play is going to come down to me. I'm going to get a pick six. But you know, I played it safe and patted it down. But you know, it was a great overall team win. You kind of get tired all week to hear now this guy is supposed to be the number one quarterback in the nation. And uh, did you, as a secondary, did you take out as an extra challenge? I mean, nah, because he's a, good, he's a great quarterback. But, you know, all props given. We have better secondary. I had no doubt going into that game. I'm sitting here with the best safety, the best back, the best all-around athlete. You know, we got guys. We got ten. No, we was not worried, not one bit. Marcus, what do you think you're doing this year that's making you so successful? I believe you're either tied or leading the Pac-12 in interceptions. Uh, practice makes. I mean, you practice is how you play. I practice like this every week. I mean, I go get the ball. Just practice. Shoot. All I can say is practice, 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 practice. It's true. All we do in the practice is go get the ball, ball, ball drills, all the other things that you're supposed to do in practice to make you prepare for the game, and that's what I do. And I mean, all credit to my coaches and everybody around me helping me out. That's that's pretty much it. Start with start with the Corey, but for all the secondary guys, it seemed like you guys really uh, did a good job of defending deep, defending the long passes. Exception that first PD. What was sort of the emphasis during the week with that sort of what you guys wanted to do? Well, yeah, you know, we, we, we know that, you know, we're a great man team. No matter who we who lined up, I don't care if it's Calvin Johnson, Megatron. We we man we manned up. You know, my teammate, he, you know, he got a ball caught on him, but I told him, it ain't over. Because you going big time players make big time plays in big time games. Because all during the week, our coaches, they pretty much, you know, taught us. 
uh, the type of route that they were running. So we just applied that to the game. We had to adjust a little bit because they kind of ran their routes a little bit different than what we see on film. But after we adjusted, uh, we just started to make plays. Corey, what was it like being in the offense and catching your first uh, uh, I was here. Yeah, I've been doing this my whole life, really, uh, going both ways. So when the coach called my name, I'll just be ready. Uh, all we got to do is execute. So I'm going to get open any way that I can. Uh, as long as we execute my offense, we're going to continue to score. Ain't nobody room with Corey Buck. Buck. All right, guys. I can't. Buck. 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 Bu